Hey, welcome back to the Time Sticking YouTube channel. My name is Jake, and today I want to talk about why we split our days in half with AM and PM. So stick with me through this intro, and I'll be diving into this subject with you. Splitting the days in half doesn't work well for everyone. In fact, there are relatively few countries that officially divide the days into AM and PM. While places like the UK, Republic of Ireland, India, the United States, and other former British Empire countries employ the split indication, it's not incredibly common. This often begs the question, why bother among critics? Well, as it turns out, there's some real history behind it. The 12-hour split day is based on a rich tradition of astronomical fascination and tracking, with the beginnings of the 12-hour split day hearkening back to ancient Mesopotamia, Egypt, and Greece. It's a traditionally effective way to track time. Standing for anti-meridium and post-meridium, AM and PM represent a split between the highest points and lowest points the sun resides in as our planet turns. As you probably already know, ancient civilizations used to use sundials to track the movement of the sun throughout the day. This helped with creating calendar systems due to the relative length of days during different parts of the year. While tools like sundials, and eventually obelisks in Egypt, were effective during most days, they could not track the entire day. Nighttime redundancies were used alongside this timekeeping method as well. Water clocks, older than sundials themselves, were employed in these ancient societies to keep things ticking. Easily measurable amounts of inflow and outflow water could track the time without solar aid. As it were, all one had to do was measure the height of water in a basin to establish a passage of time. Thus, the graveyard shift was integral to keeping anti-meridium and post-meridium times aligned with the passage of the sun and moon across the sky. Eventually, however, mechanized timekeepers came into play. While the first mechanical clocks had 24-hour dials, as well as early chronometers, 12-hour clocks were found to be easier to engineer and build. From the 14th century onward, clocks evolved from 24-hour to 12-hour time across Northern Europe. This method of timekeeping would remain locked in to the Anglophone and bleed into our current age. While there are multiple other influences that helped establish 12-hour time and its symbols across the globe, what I've mentioned so far is the thick of it. While 24-hour time gives each hour of the day its own number, and it's useful by its own merits, the 12-hour split drives home a simple pairing of night and day. Millennia have been spent perfecting this time system, so whether you see Arabic or Roman numerals on the dial, a 12-hour representation of time hopefully has some more context. We here at Time's Ticking will continue to enjoy every hour of the day available to us, no matter how it crosses our door. I hope you enjoyed the video today. If you did, make sure to give it a like, and if you'd like to see more content from us, you can subscribe right here. And as always, if you need any help repairing your watch, the link to our website is right here. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.